Hi everyone, so there's been a few requests to learn how to compute an area in the crater counting layer. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do that in this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is go into your crater counting layer and create a few craters. I've actually already done this ahead of time. Then you're going to double click your crater counting layer and you're going to export it as a CSV. So pick where you would like it and name it and then make sure this says CSV shapefile and press export. Then you can exit out of here and you can either delete your crater counting layer or just turn it off. Now you're going to add a shape layer. Close this. You're going to double click your shape layer. And the first thing you need to do is load your file. Make sure that your file type is CSV again, press load. And you'll see here now that your diameter is in meters. So we need to make sure that JMARS knows how to interpret your diameter column. So to do that, you're going to go up to features, edit circles, and you're going to put diameter. And you're going to say that your diameter is in meters. So press OK. You'll see that it actually redrew our craters. And now we need to create an area column. So you're going to go up to Feature, Edit Columns. You're going to name your new column. We're going to put area. And the type is a real number. You can add your column. And you'll see that that new column got added to the bottom of your list. Make sure it's highlighted. And for your value, you want to put enclosed area. And you can see that it's going to compute it in square kilometers. Before you press OK, you need to make sure this updates all rows at the bottom is clicked. Press OK. And you'll see your area column now has values. So it's that easy. All right, well, thanks for joining me.